In the time in which he became famous, in 1940 especially, the supreme thing that was needed was courage, moral courage, in the council room. Churchill was very brave, personally brave, on a battlefield repeatedly. Afghanistan, the Sudan, Cuba, South Africa, and he did stupendous things. Do you know that Churchill wrote 50 books, painted more than 500 paintings, and they're pretty good, uh, won the Nobel Prize for Literature, saved the world. We're going to invite you to watch some lectures on Winston Churchill. I'm going to give them. Winston Churchill had a kind of strategy about his whole life based on what he thought about the times in which we live and about the nature of human beings. These things are themes of his greatest speeches at the high points of his career, including during the Second World War. He started writing about these things even before he got into Parliament, before he was 25 years old. I think that Churchill as a statesman is on a par with the very greatest in history. But Churchill lived in our time, and nobody else like him did. And so we don't really have, among statesmen, a better teacher to help us figure out this time than Churchill.